Hi, I'm Brian Neary, a commercial real estate advisor with Newmark Grubb Knife Frank. With us today, we have Donish Damani, CEO and founder of RI. This week was really exciting. We got an article published in Fast Company, which has international reach. We got a domino effect from that, where we got another article published in Wired, and that really built credibility. Now, if you go on oriapp.com, we have highlighted over there, featured in VentureBeat, Fast Company, Wired, and that really helps you as a startup, where you have no, not so many customers, that really helps you. But apart from just credibility, it brought us so many users. We were getting thousands of new users every day. People from all sorts of backgrounds and people reaching out to me on LinkedIn, offering their services, offering partnerships. For example, yesterday, someone from UK who's a, one of the world's top speech writers, he helps run master classes at the UN, writes speeches for ministers in the UK. He approached us and said, Danish, you have built an excellent technology. Imagine the synergy we could have if you partner with a domain expert. What beautiful things we could create together. And so those kinds of partnerships are the next steps. You have an app, but to really get a worldwide reach, you need to form partnerships with the right people. And that's some of the next few steps that I'm working on. My parents are the reason I am who I am today. Like my mother, she has been instilling in me this soft skills like being ethical. Being in tech, having integrity, having this notion of giving back. I got all of that from my mother. Never doubting or compromising your fundamental principles. That's something I got from my mother. Being a good human being is very fundamental. She actually did her PhD in spirituality and nursing, like something to look together. And so she is, I think, in my opinion, someone very well accomplished and the reason she is there because is because she has been a good human and so she's been instilling in me that and being being grateful having gratitude towards whoever is helping you be out there and from my father I got all this street smart he dropped out of college because he had to support his siblings his two sisters back in Pakistan and India and so he just started off with the family business, running that, finding any opportunity he could, and being able to support us coming, for me to be able to come to the US, it's a heavy burden on parents, right? But my father, I think he's very street smart, and I got all of that business-mindedness from him. I'm a first-time entrepreneur, and I've been terribly lucky to be where I am in this short amount of time. And that's not just because of what is in here, but it's because of all the people I surround myself with. I never worked in sales. I am not a public speaking expert, but I have surrounded myself with sales leaders, with top sales trainers, with the top public speakers. And by surrounding myself with them, I have been like a sponge extracting the best from everywhere. And that's what I think an entrepreneur is. You go out there, Find the experts that are solving the pain point you want to solve. Find the best ways of solving that. Find the best ways of, the most efficient ways of solving a problem and build a solution. And that's what I've been doing. So I have so many mentors, some in Philadelphia, some in the West Coast, some back home. And it's all because of their continuous guidance, continuous mentorship that I am where I am right now. Like if I'm trying to close an enterprise deal, it's a long sales cycle. I have never done that, but I invite one of my mentors always on my call and he sits there and guides me. Danish, you should have done this next time or that was really good. You really appreciated the decision maker in that call. You really put him up there. And I think this thing, this call will go through.